This week on Primo's Truth About Hunting. Cottonwood Farms is the Primo team's last stop. So we're going to try some old school tactics. This morning we're going to make a little man drive. Good friend and great hunt. Hey, nothing no better. When we start pushing these deer, they're going to fall right on the edge of the water. Cottonwood Farms. I love it, man. We were in the right spot. We had them schooling around us. <laughs> Hit it one time, Jordan. Oh, Whoop! Get them up! <laughs> Whoop! Truth About Hunting is brought to you by Bushnell, Polaris, Matthews, Savage Arms, Federal Ammunition, Rage, Squincher, Ozonics, Yeti Coolers, and Primo's Hunting. Speak the language. Cottonwood Farms is the Primo team's last stop each year of deer season. A traditional southern deer camp owned and operated by our longtime friend, Will Walker, and is managed by Will's manager, Jeffrey Taylor. This landscape is rich farmlands surrounded by big tracts of hardwoods right on the Mississippi River. And when I say right on the river, you can see the tugboat steaming by right from your stand. We're very happy being in the hardwood bottoms, scattered thickets, and secluded food plots along the river. The fun thing about hunting at Cottonwood is you never know what's going to walk by. This time of year, the rut is winding down, so we're going to try some old school tactics with our Matthews bows. Because hunting at Cottonwood is bow only. Like always, after getting to where we're going, we make sure, 30 on the button, that we hit the range to sling a few arrows. We can't stress enough how important it is after a long trip to check your boat. We like to shoot several arrows from 20 yards all the way to 60 yards before we head to our stand or ground blind and gives you that extra confidence you need to make the shot. That little baby right there. Click, click, done. You notice how clear the glass is on this thing? This sun runs fast. Hey, George. Hanged up pretty good there. Shot the heart smooth out of it. <laughs>
you see? Coming out of the cutover, coming straight to us. I barely put my butt roar down when Jordan spots his big buck headed straight for it. There's nothing better than getting that immediate response when calling to a deer. So I stand up as stealthy as I can, get my boat, and take a few ranges before this buck gets any closer. This segment of Truth About Hunting was brought to you by Mossy Oaks Native Nurseries, Mossy Oak Properties, and gold tip arrows. Introducing the Dirty V from Primo's, the first decoy with the irresistible real life look of an injured gobbler. Just set them up and put your finger on the trigger because when he spots Dirty V, it's the last thing he'll see. The Dirty Bee Injured Gobbler Decoy, only from Primo's. This ain't Hollywood. It's hunts as they really happen. Nothing staged, all the hits and misses. But no one wants to be that guy that misses. Not even close. So when it was time to choose a rangefinder, we stepped up to the world's best, Bushnell. The results, some of our best shooting ever. So now if you are that guy, you don't even have an excuse. He swiped my rangefinder. Ha! <laughs> the Truth Rangefinder by Bushnell. The leader in the evolution of lethal technology brings you the all-new Hypodermic. The most sleek, deadly, and accurate broadhead in the world. Rage's patented slip cam design carves its way through flesh as the hybrid tip and solid steel ferrule smash their way through bone. Be silent, be lethal, be surgical with the hypodermic from Rage. Dedication to innovation, one bow. The most accurate technology, one cam. When the reward is within range, One moment, a name you can rely on. One choice, Matthews. It's amazing the keen sense of hearing and direction that a deer has. This buck has pinpointed Chris and Jordan's calling from over 150 yards away, and he's headed straight to their setup. Just called him to the tree. Chris, you just killed a good one. A big, big buck. Hey, he was coming right here and he's finna get behind my stuff, so I marked him and he stopped and looked at me. You know what he's coming like, to? 
I know. And we've been grunting at them other books out there. And I grunted, and Jordan had the can. We was going back and forth. And Jordan's like, so I look. Here comes a stove. I picked my knife because I said, oh, God, big team. Anyway, we got it right here, Jordan. My knees are just shaking. Look, with my, my backpack, I was going to have to let down and shoot him here. But when I went, man, he looked straight up at me. I was like, Lord. And he didn't know what we was. He stopped and gave me a perfect shot. <laughs> you drilled him, Chris. Oh, Lord. Chris. Pretty wide, 10 point. No, he's got more than that. Look he's got me. split brown. Look at my <laughs> Holy cow. Look at my height. Look at my stain. <laughs> <laughs> Look at that. He had two split brow times, yep. didn't he? Split there, and this one's broke. That is a fine deer. Cottonwood Farms. I love it, man. Here at Cottonwood. Jeffrey and all the guys so awesome. I mean, we see three bucks on one doe and just start calling. End of January. End of January. And here comes this buck. And then a minute behind him was another one. I guess they lost that doe and figured, they're over there, come yep. on. <laughs> but they didn't know that was me and Jordan. <laughs> That's some teamwork calling going on I mean, there. It was all the eh, eh, hitting that grunt and Jordan back at me. That old Zonix baby. <laughs> he was right up under 12 to 15 yards, wasn't he? Yep. All right, let's go get the Polaris. Hey, new Matthews chill, baby. Put another one on ice. <laughs> That's awesome. <laughs> <laughs> well, good job, Chris. Thanks, bro. This segment of Truth About Hunting was brought to you by Black Gold, Ripcord, and Tight Spot Quivers. This is my rifle. This is my rifle. My rifle. There are others like it, but this one is mine. This one is mine. I must master it as I must master my life. I must fire my rifle true. With one shot, I must make one quick kill. One clean kill. One humane kill. My rifle and I know is the hit that counts. We will hit. One shot, one kill. First, we introduced the new standard in side-by-side -side utility. Now we're giving it company. They share the most torque, the smoothest suspensions, the best storage, class-leading comfort, and a revolutionary collection of versatile accessories. The 60-horsepower Ranger XP900 and 5-passenger Ranger Crew 900. Together, they're a whole new class of hardest working, smoothest riding. I think things. I think that's what they did right there. Mm -hmm. I think they cut us off. See, cause if you get had to, cause there's water all right here, and they didn't come by us. Y'all ought to be in the best spot. I mean, I think y'all gonna kill some. You hear what Chris just said? We ought to be in the best spot. Seriously, ask God. Sounds like it's strategic. strategic. We hunted here last year on this little man drive, and we were in the uh, zero spot. Yeah. One thing about these man drives is kind of like bass fishing. You either in the bad spot, or either you got them schooling all around you and they're hitting top water. Yeah, but Kevin, you can turn that zero into a hero. Yeah, I show him. Y'all gonna see some deer. 
I'm letting y'all get first shot at him. I'm just going to hide in a corner somewhere. <laughs> hide in a corner. Just hit it one time, Jordan. Good luck. We'll see guy. you in a little while. Whoop. Get him up. Uh-oh. All right, baby. This morning we're gonna make a little man drive. And what we got here is this is the flood water from Mississippi River coming up. And the water gets shallow right here. And what these do like to do when they make a little push, they come right down the edge of this water. And when the water starts getting shallow, they cross. And you can see there's a heavy trail right here. So they're gonna go right there, Cody, that's what I think. So we need to climb right here somewhere. Like that big pecan down there? Mm-hmm. Some of the deer may go down the edge of that field. I think I think a big shooter buck, mature buck, he's gonna he's gonna stay on the edge of this water, just slip right down through here. Like Kevin said, this is an old-fashioned man drive, a popular strategy created by rednecks for rednecks. With that in mind, we figured it would be the perfect time to let Kevin hunt. Stopped right there, didn't he? There's a dub. Man, was that not crazy? The big buck, the bigger buck, when he got right here, all the does were going across the water, and I was like, he's gone. And I, I look up and see two more bucks coming, and I'm looking at the bigger buck, and these two, I look back at you, and you still video on this dude. <laughs> I was like, Cody, get this dude. And when the does got here, you know, our wind's going like this. One deer smelled us or whatever, and this deer stopped when he did. I, but you spun around and got him? Yeah. It's just something about making a, <clears throat> a man drive, a little push. This morning, all the guys are set up, me and Will Walker and Keith Burgess, we're all hunting. And you see Cody now right on the end of this big lake. And the Mississippi River's rising, so all this backwater's going back in the woods. But when we start pushing these deer, they're gonna fall the, right on the edge of the water. And wherever they can cross, for an escape route, that's what they do. Cody and I set up right there in two trees. And the thing about it is, it's either feast or famine. You either see a lot of deer or you don't see much at all. And this morning, we were in the right spot. We had them schooling around us. <laughs> <laughs> he broke his beam right here. I thought he was an eight, but he's a 10. Hold on, right there. You gotta love it, man. Here it is, end of the deer season. And uh, there's about three or four days left in our season here in Louisiana, Mississippi. And this morning we hunt Louisiana. And uh, usually I love when that many deer come by you that fast. Go meet up with the guys, see who else shot. Hey, white tail with a bug, you gotta love it. This segment of Truth About Hunting was brought to you by Ammo to Go and C Spire Wireless. 
closed captioning provided by Primo's Final Approach. Watch the wind trackers. This big buck is straight downwind of the hunter. That typically means the buck is gone, but not with Ozonix. Ozonix is the in-the-field ozone generator. It blankets your scent zone with scent-destroying ozone so deer won't smell you. <laughs> this is amazing. The wind tracker almost hits the deer in the nose. Ozonix works, and it's guaranteed. Learn more at ozonixhunting.com. If I was a steel worker, I'd use Squincher, because staying hydrated means staying productive. If I work construction, I drink Squincher, because it has more potassium and half the sodium. If I was a firefighter, I'd drink Squincher, because it's formulated to drink every day. If I worked the rail, I'd drink Squincher. Because of the taste. But we're all hunters, and we drink Squincher, because it's what America's workers drink. Squincher, hydration that works. Keith is one of the stealthiest guys I know. He's big, but he can move in the woods and he can hear really well. I really like hunting with Keith. He does not need a redneck's answer to seeing deer to be successful like Kevin does, as evidenced by these deer heading Keith's way before the rednecks even get out of the truck. Shortly after Keith took this doe, he spots a mature buck making his way through that thick brush. Thank you, Lord. Thank you. Woo! That is awesome. Jeez. 
Oh, I love boat one. <laughs> had a doe come in right here. Had that boat come in out there first early before the push even started. Just natural travel. And he did perfect. I mean, he read the script. He did everything. And nothing like coming home and shooting some Mississippi River bottom buses. God. In the rain. In the rain. <laughs> it, that just tops it off. It don't get no better than that. He's got a body. I'm talking about a huge body. Big, long, look like a Lincoln Town car coming up. <laughs> <laughs> Not all that nasty mess coming out of his neck. Ugh. Look at that. That is awesome. That's an old deer right there, buddy. Hold him right there. He's been fighting. Big old long beans on him. I thought he had another point on this side, but apparently he just got four. It's nice whenever you can see your climber hanging on the tree right there. That's when you're looking at your deer. <laughs> oh man, I ain't that the way to end the week. Man, good friend and great hunt. Ain't nothing no better. Thanks for being with us on the truth and sharing with us what we love and cherish so much, this great sport of hunting. Join us again as we continue the tradition of hunting and just living the outdoor lifestyle. God willing, we'll see you next week.